Hi, I'm Dr. Max Gatko and you're watching the Lux Zentishi channel. In today's episode, we will discuss what is the difference between a deep cleaning, scaling and root planing, and general cleaning or prophylaxis. What do you need to know when a dentist recommending you a deep cleaning? And what to do in times of COVID-19 pandemic, since you cannot get any professional cleaning? Let's go! I find this question of what is the difference between a deep cleaning, a scaling rule playing versus regular cleaning or prophylaxis being asked by all of my patients who need a deep cleaning. Many practices assume it's self-explanatory. Deep means the cleaning is deeper, therefore you expect it to pay more. Hey doc, I thought any professional cleaning is deep. Sounds confusing, right? Once doctor examines your clinical findings, looks at your periodontal chart and examines your x-rays, doctor will be ready to propose appropriate type of cleaning for you. Rule of thumb, scaling and root planing or deep cleaning is indicated when you have a severe gum inflammation and or presence of periodontal disease or loss of supporting bone around the teeth. General cleaning or prophylaxis is indicated in all other situations. Okay, so now you know the basics of each of cleaning indications, but what's the difference between the two? First difference, time it takes. When you have loss of bone support and or severe inflammation of the gums, there is a reason for that. And the main reason is how much of bacteria and plaque you accumulate at and below the gum line. See, when you have normal, healthy gums, you do not have pockets or significant spaces between your gums and your, your bone and the teeth, where bad bacteria can actually grow and do its damages. So deep cleaning entitles removal of all of that bacteria and plaque from underneath your gums. And usually it takes about four to five times much longer than conventional prophylaxis. Second difference, anesthesia. Deep cleaning often involves use of local anesthetics to numb part of your mouth. Because believe me, going into those unhealthy gums with sharp and pointy instruments does hurt quite a bit, unless you're numb. Third difference, manual instrumentation. With deep cleaning, use of modern ultrasonic units is effective, but often is not enough. Therefore, treating provider often need to use many auxiliary hand instruments in order to clean effectively. Fourth difference, of course it's the cost. If something takes three times more effort and four to five times more time to do, there is obviously going to be a major price difference between the two. Depending on where you live, the price of full mouth deep cleaning is usually anywhere from five to 10 times of the cost of conventional cleaning or prophylaxis. Now, what do you need to know when dentist recommending you a deep cleaning? You say price? Yeah, it's definitely important. <laughs> but most important question is to ask what's the diagnosis and prognosis for your gums? Uh, you should be concerned about your gum health and sometimes you have to ask what's waiting for you long term. Accurate diagnosis can give you a rough idea of where you stand with your gums and bone health and what to expect out of your teeth in the long run. Depending on diagnosis, you may have a bright future with your teeth or you may need to start thinking about teeth replacement options such as dentures and or implants. Now let's finally talk about what to do in times of COVID-19 pandemic since you cannot get a professional cleaning. This is a trick question. If you have been consistent with your regular checkups and cleanings in the past, delaying your routine prophylaxis for several months is not the end of the world. And you should be focusing on maintaining that great home care that you have been practicing for so long. If you are a procrastinator 
and you generally do not see a dentist on a regular basis for whatever reasons, it's maybe a good time to start working a bit harder with your home care since you got all this free time. You would start with brushing your teeth twice a day. I recommend investing in a high quality smart electric toothbrush that will give you a guided feedback of how you actually cleaning your teeth. Yes, there is usually an app for that. Second, do not forget about effectively cleaning in between the teeth. Most commonly, it's by using hated dental floss, proxy brush, and a water pick. Remember, brush cannot get in between your teeth. Uh, don't forget to brush your tongue, either with your brush or with a tongue cleaner. And finally, rinse with the mouth rinse to kill any remaining bad bacteria that causes a bad breath and to feel refreshed. Remember, if you do not spend on average 10 minutes a night to clean your teeth and your mouth, you're probably not doing it right. And something else to remember is your mouth is part of your body and whatever happens in your mouth affects your overall health. This is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button. I'll see you next time. Good luck to you. Stay healthy and stay safe.